What stage would Sarah have realised something was wrong? It's really sad to think that she's that, that quite scary situation that she's in at that point. On the evening of March the 3rd, 2021, PC Wayne Cousins was waiting. It's clear, isn't it, that the only reason he was here was to abduct uh, a woman. So we're here to talk to you about Sarah. I'm show you a picture. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. On the 30th of September 2021, former police officer Wayne Cousins was sentenced to a whole life order for abducting, raping and murdering 33-year-old marketing executive Sarah Everard. He spent at least a month preparing for his crimes. On the 3rd of March at 9pm, Miss Everard leaves her friend's house on Leithwaite Road, Clapham. At 9.13pm, she calls her boyfriend for around 14 minutes. At 9.15, Miss Everard was captured alone on CCTV at the junction of Bowood Road and the A205, the South Circular. The next sighting is 9.28pm, when she is on Cavendish Road, and she's still alone. Even as a man, you think it's the most um, safest route to come home. It's well lit uh, with street lighting and plenty of properties around. So yes, I think that's the route that she would have taken in, in every time she went to see her friend. Seven minutes later, a bus camera captures Miss Everard and Wayne Cousins on Poinders Road, standing beside a white Vauxhall Astra parked on the pavement with hazard lights on. Earlier that day, Cousins had hired this car from Dover in Kent. At 9.38, another camera captures the same vehicle with the two front doors open. He could have used COVID as a, as a reason to get her into the back of the car and said, you're breaching COVID rules and arrested her. You know, Sarah wouldn't necessarily have known every single law and he could have made one up to get her in the back of the car. The car is next spotted at 1 a.m. in Tilmanstone in Kent. At 8.30 a.m., Cousins returns the hire car to Dover and is spotted at a local Costa Coffee. Sarah Everard's body is found six days later at Hodes Wood near Ashford, Kent. Police don't know exactly where and when Cousins murdered Sarah, but they do know that for a while he stored her body here, hidden amongst this rubbish under a freezer. Days after this, Cousins was spotted in a B&Q store in Dover, buying two builder's bags, which he's believed to have used to transfer Sarah's body. Then Cousins came back and, using some kind of trolley, brought Sarah's body 250 yards or so into the woods and left her in this shallow water. On the morning of the 7th of March, Cousins took his family to the same woods where he'd dumped Sarah's body in an apparent bid to create an alibi. Well, I am in financial and I've been lent on by um, I don't know who they are. They're a, a group, a gang, whatever. They told me why I need to go and pick up girls and give them to them. I said, what happening? It then came through that they're gonna harm my family, take them away, and they'll use them instead. Um, but at that point, I had no option. Wayne Cousins had been vetted by police and had no criminal record but he had been accused of indecent exposure at a McDonald's restaurant. The police watchdog is currently reviewing how those allegations were handled. When you tell your children, or you tell a friend or whatever, you know, if you're in trouble, try and find a police officer. What he did that day has set that back uh, to, to such a, a distance behind us that we've, you know, you try and recover and you try and say we're not like that. There are no words that can fully express the fury and overwhelming sadness that we all feel about what happened to Sarah. I am so sorry. So 
Sarah's death sparked nationwide protests and vigils. For his crimes, Wayne Cousins has been told he'll never be released from prison. <laughs>